Hey everybody, uh, hopefully this works because I have two pairs of sunglasses just like this and this is one pair, the other pair is holding you up so hopefully this works out. I'm getting ready to head home from the gym, I'm pulling out of the parking lot right now and uh, wanted to do a video but obviously holding this and talking like that is not safe at all so we're doing this. So anyway um just got done with the gym just did uh back bicep and shoulders and i'm exhausted even though i only got in a 40 minute workout i guess that's about average i do i try to do about 40 to 60 minutes um but usually i come out somewhere around 45 or 50. so 40 minutes seems like i cheated a little bit but as you can tell, I'm breathing hard and I didn't do any cardio at all. I was just doing weights and now I'm, and I did some supersets. That's part of the reason why I'm breathing so hard. Um, to tell you guys a little bit about my day, um, what my days usually look like. I wake up about 4.30, 4.45, I'm trying to be in the gym by 5 or 5.15 and then I work out until about 6 or 6.15 then I get home, uh, I work a day job 8 to 5 so uh, I try to get ready and do whatever meal prep or whatever I need to do for the day between 6.15 and uh, 7:15, at which point I leave to go to work, which is about 15 to 20 minutes away. Usually get there about 7:45, uh, depending on exactly what time I leave. Sometime between 7:35 and 7:45, uh, and then I kind of hang out, and then that gives me a chance to just kind of chit chat and catch up with coworkers and just kind of sit around and not feel bad about not jumping right into work as soon as I get to the office because I've got 15 20 minutes or so to kind of ease into it uh, it's a small company it's uh, my brother-in-law's company so it's kind of a family deal just kind of get there hang out there's about 20 people in the entire company there's uh, I think seven people on our team six or seven people on the team that I work with um, so that just gives me a chance to kind of chill. So then I work, get off at five, uh, usually get home around 5.30 or so, uh, feed my cats and then hang out, eat dinner. And uh, usually about eight o'clock or so, I lay down 8.30 and I watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, I'll watch YouTube for an hour or an hour and a half most nights, uh, just checking up on people. Um, some of the channels that I like are Brian Turner's channels. Um, he, he does excellent videos and I really enjoy it. Um, I also really like John Venus. A lot of his videos recently have just been stellar with the way that he's edited them and um, what looks like he's doing drone shots and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's kind of showing where he lives. So those are pretty cool and I like seeing what he has to talk about. And hearing from him about his workouts and things like that um, and just seeing kind of his lifestyle those are vegan channels that i like and really pay attention to um, outside of that i watch a lot of random stuff um, most of it is like math and science related so i watch um, like stand-up maths um, that's a good channel i also like number file uh, watch that a lot uh, scishow other channels like that math science kind of stuff um, there used to be some other ones that I used to watch but I kind of I don't know if I grew out of them or if I or if their videos just got less entertaining or what but uh, some of the channels I just kind of grew out of and that kind of happens I guess um, you know I don't watch the same TV shows that I did a few years ago either so uh, maybe it's just me and my taste changing but anyway uh, that's just to kind of give you guys an overview of what my days are like on my drive home from the gym uh, I'm gonna go inside and you guys are gonna get to see uh, the meal that I'm gonna eat for lunch today um, today is the 17th so um, hopefully this video will go up tonight and you'll be able to see it but I'll show you guys what I do for lunch or what I'm going to do for lunch today. It's super easy, 
pretty quick and it's super super delicious um, and it goes about a weird way of having a cheesy flavor or something that I haven't seen before but actually works excellently so here we go so I'm starting cooking my lunch guys uh, what I've got here is I've just got some onions and some green beans that I just threw in the pan uh, I'm running a little short on time so I'm kind of doing this quickly but um, I'm using this it's a uh, garlic infused olive oil uh, I'll probably also use some garlic just because I love garlic uh, I've got a little bit of squash and some zucchini squash this is leftover this is about half of each one um, and I used the other halves to make this the other day I've got a couple pieces of red cabbage here that I'm going to slice up uh, some onions so for some more onion there's my green bean ends and then about a quarter of a box of mushrooms that I've got left I'm gonna shred up some carrot that I'm gonna throw in there here's the green beans that I got I think this was like two or three bucks and this is a huge bag I mean I've already made this meal once my wife made some stuff with it and then I've already pulled out the stuff for the second meal and we've maybe used half the bag um, and then I didn't do this last time but I'm gonna throw in some uh, baby kale and spinach into this one just to have it um, so basically that's what I'm gonna do and then uh, it's just gonna be olive oil and then I'll have some pasta that I'll do with it and uh, I'll show you guys more of it and some of the seasonings that I do okay guys so I got a little bit of pasta going on here Woo! Uh, about a couple servings give or take so that's about three or four hundred calories there um, so there is gonna be let's see I've used a couple servings of this so about 300 calories or about 200 calories there um, and so I'm at somewhere around five or six hundred calories and then with the veggies as you know veggies are not very calorically dense so there's not going to be a whole lot of calories there I still haven't put the spinach and kale in but I'll put that in but this is just to kind of show you what it's going to look like and then uh, whenever I put this together the thing that makes this awesome is that with all the oil and everything in it I've got uh, some more garlic seasoning and then as you guys know my very favorite seasoning Tony Chattery's um, that stuff is amazing you put it in anything um, I've got some of that in there I'll put some nooch in here um, and I'm also I got from Walmart uh, I got some uh, 100 calorie guacamole packs so I'm gonna mix that in whenever I'm ready to eat this after I warm it up for my lunch I'll mix the pasta together and then I'll put uh, the guacamole in there too and put more nooch in it and it's like creamy it's almost like a cheese sauce with the garlic flavors and with the nooch and the creaminess of the avocado and the guacamole it's spectacular so and you don't have to use a whole lot of oil just enough to kind of cook it and help flavor it and then with that guacamole that's where you're getting some more so that's another 100 calories so if I eat this entire thing, it's going to be six or seven hundred calories for my lunch. But you know, it's I'm going to have a pretty light breakfast, and then my dinners this week have been pretty light too. Um, but this is super delicious. I'm actually going to make this for Thanksgiving for our work tomorrow, and then I'm also probably going to end up making this for Thanksgiving at my parents' house next week. Um, it's a really easy meal, and it's super delicious.